All right, with the horrors of Resident Evil Survivor behind us all, let's jump back into Patrician for some healing. Now, as best I recall, things are looking just peachy for our own little Hanseatic trade. Except, some things get overproduced, and some places just can't seem to develop past certain caps. But that's okay, otherwise I just need to sit back, make money, and establish some new counting houses. My goal for today, or tonight rather, is to establish myself in another place. Potentially Bruges, because what I need to start producing is another trade good. See, here's the thing, and it's the reason that we overproduce, because I can't hold myself back. Let's say we start up and we start producing lots of clay. We then produce way more clay than uh, all the other people can use, although I want to have plenty to be able to build places up. And then we make other places, so we also make some dairy, and then we also make some hemp. But there are still some holes in this all, because, for example, I don't produce... Oh, I produce a tiny bit of pitch. I don't produce any pelts, I don't produce any mead, I don't produce any clothes or cloth. So that means I don't have people producing clothes and cloth and and uh, pelts and such, which means I don't have the population creating demand, which means unless I have most things being uh, produced, I won't have a balanced workforce. In the end, one person will require slightly more than one person's worth of all goods. So if you produce everything locally, you won't be able to uh, make everybody happy. That's a bit of a problem, but it's a problem that we will face much, much later in the future. Before right now, I don't think we have any outstanding issues. I have lots of free boats, but that is somewhat good. And most of what I make, I already have the, uh, the trade all set up for. I don't see any pirates, and that's good news for me. Novgorod is starving, which is just fine. Otherwise, we can just carry on. I want to check to see if I have any of my... Uh... No any free boats that I actually care about, and the answer is no. All the ones that are free are the ones that are meant to be. Edinburgh is slowly building itself up. We are trying to get the brewery business on the go, but this place sorely lacks grain. Alberg needs to produce that bit more grain, and you know what? I have a, uh, I have a proposition for that. I'm going to go to Alberg, pick up some grain, and just dump it in Edinburgh, because otherwise my, my beer train is never going to get going. Uh, I also have a, uh, a list of ship names that I'm working from, and I completely forgot about the uh, the list of ship names, or rather the submission form for them. One of my fleets just got repaired. Which one was it? People mover, people mover. Ah, uh, nothing important, probably. As ever, I want to keep my eyes open for anything of interest. McBoaty Face can pick you up and then take you back to wherever. It's such a shame, they only give a hundred ducats, a thousand if you take them to their hometown. Even at the game start, that is a worthless amount of money. Throw the grain into the sea, Jake. No sorry, that grain's going to make us so much money when we turn it into beer, courtesy of Edinburgh. Courtship, okay, that is something I also want to get on today. That sounds like the DDR blind is ready to rock and roll once more. Onwards to bottle. So the wild card Thagnus has almost made its way into Alborg, where we're going to grab all that delicious grain. Hopefully we don't disrupt the grain train too much, but we need that over in Edinburgh. Now is there anywhere else that's suffering when it comes to the production of goods? We have storage costs in Riga, and we lack raw materials, probably for some businesses that we built but we don't actually use. I'm thinking a couple of tailors, perhaps? Goodbye, tailors. Now, as it happens here in Riga, we have tons of hemp being produced. One might even say we're overproducing it. Tons of clay. One might even say we're overproducing it. And, oh, a piece of a treasure map. A hundred thousand is a lot to spend right now, but we're going to spend it. Because if we finish off that treasure map, then there's goodies in it for us. Hmm. Uh, that seems to be enough cheese for now. 
but I'm thinking what can I do with this vast amount of brick that I have and the hemp as well. I have the hemp trains going but really what I should be doing is getting that hemp sent out to places that can use it. Now as I recall hemp is required for the stockfish and Harlam. Harlam produces them although Harlam has plenty of hemp as it is. Hemp is also producing plenty of wool and I should probably start thinking about shipping that out. So maybe I should get on that. No, I don't think I have any uh, any wool patrols going out, and I also want to check what the desire for wool is everywhere. It's uh, actually only slightly less than hemp, and it's equal to uh, honey and metal. Cool. I was just checking with one of my lists here. So you're going to be... Uh, we can just call it wool. And then it's Harlem number one. And we pick a name from the uh, the chat here. Or rather the chat's, uh, the chat's list. And there's Blackstaff. The greatest campaign. As ever, I want you to start off in Harlem and uh, bring that wool to everywhere nearby that doesn't have sweet access to it. Which isn't that many places that it happens. But that's okay, that'll keep. Yeah, that's ugly over in Edinburgh. That's a whole load of not many places, but hey ho. So, again, Harlem, you grab the wool. We're going to unload all of our wool. We're going to load all of our wool. And we're going to do much the same in Bruges, in London. In there again, except we uh, load and unload maximum amounts from the warehouse. And then Hamburg, much and such the same. Get to it, and you are Wool West. I should consider doing much and such the same. So Wool Har 2 And what name do we have? Massilia. I need to cross these ones off my list or else I'll be going over myself here. GM, JPEG, and Sid coming up with these names. So what are you doing? Well, you're going to do much and such the same. I want you in Harlem and you need to venture into the center here. Quite a few people that uh, don't have wool at all. Poor sods. Oh, Alberg as well. Alberg deserves to come in pretty much as the first one. That makes a bit more sense. I hope this is enough wool for everyone. It's probably going to need to be a lot bigger, actually. Rostock, I don't have a counting house, neither do I have Stettin, neither do I have Danzig, neither do I have Malmö. So none of these apart from Alborg. That's not true at all. That is not true. Malmö, I am established in. There we go. But yes, you are going to need an extra cock there, because I suspect you're going to take quite a bit more. And I also want to check my counting houses. How much wool do I tell you to, to hold on to? I tell them to hold on to 500, so they're not going to make it all the way around. Uh, basically, it'll take a wee while for it to, to make it. But that's okay. Oh, it would help if I actually told them to activate, though. Get to it, and that is Wool Center. Now, do I actually need to bring the wool up to these places? That's a no. Stockholm is a no. Riga is a yes, actually, and so is Revel. So really, I only need a small boat to take care of that. So the question is, where do I have a free boat? And the answer is right here. And it's a pretty beefy cog, though, so you're going to be the Wool Halberg 3, actually. Goal of this campaign slash scenario says score, and you know what? I want to build a perfect Hansa. And that may or may not mean that I torch places to the ground that I don't like, but... Okay, this one's been called the Fire and Ice.
Very simple, hell it barely requires a trade route for you, but just pick up all our wool from Harlem, dump it in Riga and Revel, and come on back. You know, I would actually like it if you went to Novgorod, and with that in mind, I don't actually want you to, to do this. Unless you got an amazing, uh, amazing guy, which you did not. Forget you, I must have a spare... Uh, I must have a spare Krayer somewhere. Call, call, call Krayer in Berrien. That's kinda handy. You will be the wool Harlem 3 fire. Ice. Fire and ice. I mean, there's no point hitting up these two places. They already produce their own wool. I can sort things out later if they really need it. Now, that's a long journey. Thankfully, they shouldn't need that much wool. As ever, though, load the max, unload the max, and do the same everywhere else. Except here, it needs to be done to uh, our storehouse. And in Novgorod, that actually also needs to be done in the storehouse. Except I don't have a storehouse. I don't even have a counting house. So just do it with the uh, the market for now. Man, I am paying a lot for this wool. No, no, 61 is fine, actually. I mean, it shouldn't be a problem that I load up max. That just means I buy it on the cheap. So I'm not too concerned about that. In any case, that is Wool East. Get to it. This also teaches me something else. Novgorod is still criminally low on building materials, and I actually want to be able to build my uh, my counting house so that I can trade with these poor suckers eventually. Support us? No. No, I will not. I could, and I mean the money is pretty good for it, but I will not. Just quickly checking in to see if anybody has some delicious increased production missions for us, but no, it would seem not. Right, I really want to establish myself in... Uh, is it the mead that I want, though? i got to think about goods that I still need to produce. Mead and cloth. Where produces mead and cloth? I actually wrote down in one of these things what gets produced in which town. So town production for... Mead. I'm just checking this over here. Where is it? Mead is in Berrien, Oslo, and Stockholm. And none of those places also do cloth. Then again, if I did cloth, I could also do clothes. So where can I get cloth? Uh, get clothes. Yeah, sorry, cloths made here. Bremen, Hamburg, Lübeck, Rostock. Lübeck and Rostock also make clothes. So Lubeck looks pretty damn good. Rostock also looks pretty damn good. Rostock is slightly slow, uh, slightly smaller, <clears throat> and frankly, Lubeck's a bit of a. It gets all the fun. We're gonna take the hipster Rostock one, I think. Much as I would like Bruges for the mead, I would really like Bruges for the mead. But getting cloth and clothes shipped out is too good a deal to pass up. Time to go back to the homeland, Jake. Well, we're almost back in Edinburgh. I mean, the wild card is almost back there. Alright, so I set up my, uh, my boats to head out there and deal their goodies. What else do I have here? We have the wool, the wood, the salt... Yeah, three salts, that's fine. Meat from Bergen, I only have one, and it seems like it has, frankly, not enough to do. I doubt that all these get... Oh, well, that's part of the problem. I don't have Harlem mixed in. It needs to come after Groenigan, I think. Depends which way you go around, probably before Groenigan. That's a bit better. Now, whenever you're in Harlem, I want you to load and unload maximum amounts of meat. Good. 
I set up all my counting houses to have minimum and maximum amounts of uh, stuff that they ship out. That also means that my other ones need to take them into account as well since I added a new city. I should probably hold off establishing another city though. And we got our grain trains. Only two of them though. Why? Grain train one, grain train two. Probably because it seems to have covered everything just fine. But when you get to Edinburgh, you need to load and unload maximum amounts. Capiche? See all these places where Harlem needs to be taken into account. Might end up having too much for you guys to do, but you should be okay. Now, Regan bricks actually don't go to many places. Actually, that's the only brick expedition that we do. I'm kind of surprised by that. It, once again, does not touch on Harlem, and I don't produce bricks whatsoever in Harlem, so just after Groenigan, we need to add Harlem. And do much and such the same there, please. So that makes sure they have plenty of bricks. I should keep you busy as well. But that tells me that I have a lot more brick dispersal to do. I mean, most of these people actually produce plenty of bricks, but I'm overproducing it, so it makes sense for me to actually set up a second brick dispersal unit. Bilgir is asking if I could give any advice in EU4. Any tips on how to get independence with Sweden within 100 years? Denmark almost always allies Muscovy now. Can't reach Denmark. Penalty really hurts. Sorry for repeating the question. Don't know if you missed it. Uh, I'm telling you, that won't be a problem in 122. Otherwise, just wait for a moment of weakness, ally. Uh, beeline your way to the next mill tech, so you have the advantage there. You'll never be able to ally Norway, to be honest, but you should be able to get some support from the mainland and just crush the Danes. Wait for your time to strike. All right, and I was trying to think of uh, setting up a new trader, wasn't I? Who's got some boats for me? That's a people mover, that's a whole cog. 380 is probably not enough for the amount of bricks that I'm looking to shift here. But Malma, Malma have a 500 cog for us. So you're going to be Brick Riga 2. And what name do we have? We have Kepa mode. Name coming in from Worm. So you need to disperse those bricks. Doodle -doo. It's not an overly complicated route there. Just Riga, grab your bricks. And do much and such the same for Revel, Malma, Oslo, and Alborg. Except for these guys, you need to do it to the uh, to the warehouse. Why do I do that? It's so that they always have plenty, and you are going to be the brick center. Now, are there any trade goods that I haven't done this with? If EU4 questions are allowed, which mill idea groups do you consider to be the best of this patch? Uh, that question's not allowed. But I mean, I almost always go defensive, so that kind of speaks for itself. And quantity is so good I don't allow myself to use it most campaigns, so consider that as well. Wild card is about to arrive in Edinburgh with all that sweet grain, and then we can start thinking about producing beer. If 
Pirates getting stronger, okay. Now I need to make a load of money, so why don't I just space bar my way to riches? Well, a little bit of that problem is that space barring my way forward ensures that I get um, lots of production issues with way too much of goods, like overproduction of brick over in Riga. I think we're going to take that over to somewhere that I can really build up. And Harlem is calling out to me in that regard. At least the smoke houses have plenty of salt and sheep. Actually, I did. I did ensure that they're on the salt brigade, right? So when I have salt. Uh, Saltberg. doing the east. Okay, what does the game just not let me select these when the game is moving? Or there we go, Saltberg. Yes, I did include Harlem, but I probably should have moved them slightly to be just before going again. That's a lot better. There'll be plenty for you to do. So that's good. Now one issue that I now have is, you see you're always running into issues in this game, it's funny the way it goes, is that we now have loads of stockfish. I want to turn that stockfish into money. And uh, notice that, uh, okay, well if we go to somewhere that doesn't produce stockfish, let's say raw stock. Look at how no stockfish they have. Look at how much money you can make selling those stockfish. And it costs me hemp and salt, which I have abundance of. Well, what's that telling me? It's telling me once again that I need to grab my boats. Where do I have some free? What luck, I have 500 over in Malmö. So you are going to be the... the fish. Halberg again, number one. And... What, uh... You can be called the log. Who even gave the log? That's Dahorst. But you need a route, right? So that's Harlem, and I want you to do the center first. Does Oslo count as a center? Mm, they're a bit of a wild card, neither east nor west. But I know none of these guys have stockfish, it's our specialty. There we go. Now I wonder if 500 is even going to be enough here. Well, it doesn't really matter all that much. It'll cap itself out soon enough. I just need to produce enough of the damn stuff. So, do it there. Also, I need much the same for Malma, because I'm established there. And then Malma goes there, I think. Lubeck, Rostock, Stetten, Danzig, Oslo. So that should make us buckets of ducats. Here, fish center. So it's so good having all these extra ships just hanging around for this kind of thing. You're going to be fish hull two. And the name we're taking out of this is the Borealis. Of course. There must be people that watch this and go, where is the fun in this? And whilst you have a point, you're still completely wrong. Yeah, that should be plenty for these suckers. Harlem, fish. Take it, unload it. Whoops, a daisy. Do the same in Riga. Rebel. Storkholm. And Visby. I didn't mess up my map there, did I? No, good, get to it. And you are the fish beast. Video games aren't played for fun, Jake. It's the way of my life. Okay, that should do us for now. Okay, Plague in Alborg is disastrous. So many people here. And a plague has broken out. But at least they started work on their new wall. And it's looking pretty good. Let's watch it at work. Amazing. I want to keep an eye for anything in the water here. But nothing's showing up. Okay. Wool required. Well, too bad. 
Oh, no, I saw that. Sadly, a lot of the guys that I have uh, floating around here... Hold on. The Spice Hal Failure X1, or 1X. He's just making his way back. What is there there? Ah, ran away. Damn, sometimes they just float away. Oh well. Wildcard Thagnus is making its way over to Riga because we have a uh, desperately large amount of clay there that needs shipped. There's also all this cheese. Sometimes I wonder if I've updated all my cheese guys. So many autos, it's good to know that I can plug those whenever I need. But uh, Cheese Center is probably doing okay, except when you go to Alborg, I want you to do it to the warehouse. And when you do it in Malma, I want you to do it to the warehouse. I fear any time I've uh, made these kinds of routes, I might have uh, not changed it to max on both sides, because if all they do is unload max, then that's going to be pretty bad for certain warehouses. Although, if I ever find one that's absolutely overflowing in something, it should be easy enough to find where it went wrong. But that's not the only cheese brigade, is there? Yeah, I mean, that one's fine, but the swole control one... Harlem doesn't seem right there. Bremen, groin again, then Harlem. It's got them the wrong way around. Edinburgh needs to go to there. And, and Bergen as well. Good. I'm feeling all kinds of uh, all kinds of paranoid that some of them don't load after unloading. But like I said, we'll find out soon enough if things are going pear shaped in that regard. Still, we picked up all this brick. I need to think where I need to dump that brick that I can build up. Harlem seems to have a ton of wood, so that's really making me think that the wooden one is uh, over dumping there. So I can check the wood berg. Yeah, the wood center seems to uh, always be running out. What's up with that? I mean, Alborg is max max. Malma is max max, so I guess there's just plenty of wood and uh, wood in demand in those places. And then there's you once again. Riga is max max. You're also max max. Good. But the wood west doesn't even touch on Harlem. That's the scary part. All right, so in Harlem, which needs to come after London. Max, max as ever. And then there's Steve again. 